Hi guys, this is Dragonzilla here, and today I will be giving my thoughts and opinions on the brand new 2020 dinosaur figures from Papo. Well, okay, one of them is a, a dinosaur, but I'll talk about that one later. So, as usual, we'll start with the figures that I'm not impressed with, and end with those that I am. Now we are going to begin with what I think is possibly the worst looking figure that Papo have ever made. If you thought that their Roaring Smilodon from 2017 was bad, well, take a look at this. Yes folks, this is real, and it's their take on Giganotosaurus. Now Papo have promised us that we would be getting a Giganotosaurus ever since they featured one in their second mini dino tube, and for years we have been waiting for a large full size version of the miniature Giganotosaurus, but what we will be getting instead looks like an absolute joke. Now I know it's only a prototype image, but what on earth were they thinking? It's ridiculous and also heartbreaking for all those who were very fond of the Giganotosaurus mini and a slap in the face to all those who were hoping for a larger version of that figure. This isn't what we had in mind, Papo. However, if you like the look of this figure, then I do apologise for my ranting. I have the Safari Giganotosaurus, which I'm happy with, and Eofaunus is supreme, even though I don't have that one. But Papo could have done something better with their Giganotosaurus. Next figure is a Stiggy Morlock, which kind of reminds me of the Stiggy Morlock from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. It has a nice paint job and a good looking pose. I'm not a big fan of Packy Cephalosaurus, so I haven't got much to say on this one, so let's move on. The third model is Chilisaurus, a dinosaur that I know little of, other than it's from the late Jurassic period, and it appears to be a herbivore. The figure itself looks very colourful, however this is a prototype image, so I don't know if the actual figure will be colourful or dulled down, and it also looks like it will come with an articulated jaw. I'm looking forward to this one, and the last figure which we will be looking at now. And here he is, the giant Irish elk, Megaloceros. And if you're a big fan of Xenozoic beasts, especially those from the Ice Age, then this one will be special. It's very rare when Papo make prehistoric mammal figures, because most of the time, they aim at dinosaurs and prehistoric reptiles. However, when they do make prehistoric mammals, they tend to go for the more famous ones, like the mammoths and saber-toothed cats. But when they look at others, it will be those from Ice Age Europe, like the woolly rhino and this guy. Also, it feels like Papo have seen that none of the other companies are doing any prehistoric mammal figures for 2020, unless the Orphana announced something later. Not even Collector, who are well known for making Xenozoic beasts on a regular base. So, that's why we will be getting a Megaloceros. And the model itself looks great. I'm not sure if it's scientifically accurate, or it's an old depiction. So, if there are any Irish elk experts out there watching this video, then please tell me. And that's all, folks. Those are my thoughts and opinions on the Papo Dinosaur figures for 2020. It's better than last year's because all we got were three repaints and three new sculpts. One of them being the limited edition Spinosaurus. Good choices of animals for the most part. The repaints, I had nothing to say on those. That's why I missed them out. And I don't talk about repaints unless I have something to say on them. Megaloceros and Chilisaurus I'm looking forward to seeing. Sticky Morlock is good, but Giganotosaurus deserve better. But what do you think of Papo's prehistoric range for 2020? Are your thoughts high, low or in the middle? This is Dragonzilla signing out. Take care and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.